Well, James Ford, the season has finished with defeat at Bradford in the playoffs. First of all, just your assessment on your team's performance this afternoon. Uh, I think the first thing I should say is congratulations to Bradford uh, and, and good luck to him in the, in the next round. I'm not quite sure who, who, the, who the play, but yeah. But beyond that, you know, I thought we were beaten physically today from minute one onwards. You know, Bradford ran harder than us, came through the other side, made it difficult for us to get our third men in and, and manage the collision. And on the other side, when we carried the ball, you know, the, the dishes up a little bit with like some shape and portion made it even more challenging. Uh, but having said that, it's it's 7-0 at half time and they had they had a real with the lion's share of possession, you know, the lion's share of territory and our, our, our will if you like was at keeping us in the game. And in the things we spoke about at half time, we came out and we just completely ignored them. Uh, Bradford coughed the ball up a couple of times, giving us a penalty early on, and then we've just given the ball back to them, uh, and, and they, we lost the game in that in that period. Bradford shaded us for 80, uh, but we lost the game in that period. And there were two 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 scores in, in fairly quick succession, in and around there, and uh, that's where the game went. Uh, but yeah, congratulations to to Bradford and, and good luck in in the next round. You made reference there to only being 7-0 down at the break and, and at that period, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd not played it as best as, as you admitted. You felt that, you know, if we could improve and get things right, we, we could still turn that around. What, what, what was you looking to see from your team in particular in that second half? Uh, we, we needed to complete a little bit higher, we needed more push, uh, you know, we needed to, to build some pressure. Uh, now, the, these fields like this, they... they, they, they the challenging for, for a player's mentality because it's harder to find space so players often try and look for offloads and we've done that a couple of occasions we've come here uh, and we coughed the possession up on, on the back of that a lot of tries that Br Oddsville scored in the 10 and scored from kicks in the 10 and you saw, saw that again today and uh, we just weren't patient enough to do that up until the back end where we, we scored two tries as we you know, knew we would do So obviously today caps off the season but the season as, as a whole we have faced a, a, a number of challenges. You know, we've had some good moments as well uh, on the journey. How, how would you reflect on, on the season? Yeah, we've had some great moments. As great moments, obviously, beating Toulouse at home, one beating Wakefield at home, and another, you know, coming here and beating Bradford. Uh, yeah, we have. We've also had some we've had some some poor moments as well to hide from that. Uh, regards to challenges, I think they're probably fairly well documented now. You know, all four sides of A4 of them. Uh, we'll be stronger as people, stronger as a team, stronger as a club for going through going through them. Uh, a lot of those situations, if all of them, won't won't be there next year. Uh, but we've been we've, we've been tested, uh, and without them, you know, we, we should be in a far better place. Onwards and upwards, exciting time, um, new era, so to speak. It, it is really exciting. Obviously, uh, I'm privy to the. To the squad that we're putting together for next year, uh, but I don't I think now is the time to talk about that. Uh, just want to, you know, thank the players for their effort. Obviously, there's, there's we've been, as you said, we've been tested. We've been tested for a while. You know, you got Brad Dale who's played 30 games this season. Greg Minikin, I think he's played almost every game. Uh, one when he was suspended. There's a couple of blokes in there playing with painkilling injections. There's a couple of them who who are retiring at the end of the season because of injury. I probably should have retired. 10 games ago, but because of the situation that we're in, they put the hand up for the teammates, put the hand up for the club, if you like, and and, and helped us fulfil our fixtures and, 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 and get in the playoffs. Uh, sadly, we've just tossed up a real, real average performance today.